Do the new Citadel releases cut the hobby mustard? Spiking bits. This holiday season, Citadel has released uh, some additions to its painting handle line and yet another $8 water pot. So let's take a closer look at these. First up, the new XL painting handle, wider and girthier, is here. Now this bad boy uh, can hold bigger models, supposedly 50 mil, 60 mil, up to 100 mil round, although I wasn't able to get my armature on there, but perhaps uh, that was just me being stupid. It, as you're about to see, it's a little, it's a little difficult to get this thing open. It's kind of almost like a, a skill challenge to get everything on here. Now, first off, this is the XL. It goes for uh, $12.50. This is the old Citadel paint handle for $8 US. And yes, they are indeed interchangeable. As a matter of fact. Uh, that was the very first thing I tried. I was like, oh, cool. They could have just released the top by itself uh, for less if you already had the handle. But no, you got to rebuy the handle. You can't just have this right here. So there you go. Now they're all mixed up and we'll never know which one is which right there. And then here, of course, you can see that this one does have a much, much, much wider footprint as far as that goes. So what all can you put in here? Well, they say you can put in, and this is the problem here, is it's got such a resistance on it. I mean, it's good, it's sturdy, it's gonna hold your stuff, but you almost have to kind of use these edges right here, use your thumb and your ring finger almost to kind of pry it apart to uh, allow the models to, to stick in here. But then once you get them in here, you can almost use the model itself to kind of wedge in there but you definitely want to be careful when you're undoing it because it could just springboard out and pshaw, your hard work just like took off down the well off the paint table i would imagine there so this is a 80 mil round right here and i'm not sure which notch it locks into i would assume it would be this lower one right here no it could be the lower one okay there we go so this locks in right here to this lower one maybe sort of kind of a little bit not really Whew, this is a struggle it makes me nervous it makes me nervous i don't know what's going on there it almost looks like it's bowing in the middle am i in the right one one yeah i'm trying to get in there i don't know why i don't know why it is not there we go okay finally all right that was my bad it does look like it's holding it. It's pretty sturdy, okay. And that being the struggle that it was at 80 mil, I am not even gonna try to put my 100 mil armature base in here. I mean, in theory, I'm sure it's fine and I'm sure it will fit, but uh, I'm not gonna struggle and potentially break an already finished model. So we'll just uh, we'll just say, yeah, it probably works and uh, kind of leave it at that. But man, this definitely has a lot of resistance to it. Uh, so be careful, buyer beware, but it is uh, a new tool here if you need something to buy to hold your models. Next up is the Citadel Assembly Handle. This is $18 and features two little alligator helper hands right there to hold minis, help minis glue, I, I guess. I don't know. It seems like a novel idea. I mean, but the practicality of it. I'm more uh, impressed by this little piece of foam right here that you actually, I would never throw this out. If you buy this, <laughs> use it to hold your minis because there's no way this thing's falling over now. Sure, it might fall over, but like you put it in this thing, man, it's gonna it's gonna hold everything. Holy cow, right? So don't throw this away. That's, that's bonus right there. $18, it's included, guys. Guys and gals. So once you get this bad boy open and flip it all out and kind of start taking a look, is it just me or does it remind you of the those little inflatable blow up dolls you see at the gas station Whoa. okay all right fine fine real actual review time gosh just trying to have some fun okay so here it is uh it's got the same head that now that we've already mixed up all the streams so the eight dollar paint handle is the same one that comes on this it just has again a different head that attaches to it it's going to hold the same uh size miniatures as the original paint handle so once you Get those in there. You got 40 mils, you got 32 mils, and a partridge in a pear tree. That's 
so I don't know what to make of all that. Okay, so then once you get in here, it looks like the little arms can lock in place for the most part. It's not 100% super customizable, but once you turn them the right way, they can hold these things for you. Now I could see where maybe you would want to hold a couple of things, like you're gluing a piece on or something like that, and it just won't stay and you're like okay fine but i would be very careful of whatever you use these uh, hard plastic alligator clips on because there isn't a whole lot of resistance and there's no foam pieces right there but that being said too you could easily use them to hold pieces you're going to paint like this because if you take a little poster tack and slap it on here or even turn it the other way to give you a little bit more control you could do something like this and now you have the different pieces to the model that you can paint on and you can put your thumb right there to stabilize it and boom, as long as you don't push down too hard, which you shouldn't be with your paintbrush, you can paint all the different armor parts for something. But that seems to be the most practical of reasons uh, to have this particular thing right here. Now, I would be remiss in my duty of a, uh, somewhat of a pundit, but more of a reviewer in these cases to not tell you about, hey, there's alligator clips out there. Like you can buy these off Amazon, they're super cheap. You put them on bamboo skewers and add a little blue tack at the top as well. I just happen to have this on my desk. It's gonna be our Twitch lesson next Monday, painting up some Contemptor Robot or Contemptor Dreadnought shoulder pads for uh, the Custodes. So that being said, there's cheaper alternatives out there, but if you do have to buy something and you want to support Citadel and all this great hobby tool goodness, well then the assembly handle might be for you. We saved the best for last. So for the second year in a row and the third time in 11 years, Games Workshop has put out a $8 water pop, uh, which is cheaper than their mugs, but more expensive you know, than I guess most people uh, would care to pay for a plastic water pot, at least from what I gather from the internet. Either way, uh, I bought them both. I, matter of fact, I have my water pot from 2008 right here. It's seen better days, sure, but it's a classic, and I'll always love it. It's my, it's my go-to for portability, for taking it on the go. You know, do not accept any Dixie Cup substitutes. I do like that they, you know, it's slightly tapered, so it doesn't fall over as easy, and there's places to put your brushes uh, if you wanted to dunk them and keep them in water, which probably wasn't a good idea in the first place, and I never did that. But now it's 2018 party 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 we got this thing and i'll be honest i wasn't sure what to make of it when i saw it previewed and i was like oh boy here we go i don't know what to do with this but i got it in my hot little hands and i'm like omfg this is a genius play i love this thing i'll be quite honest this is going nowhere this is staying on my paint desk and it'll probably never ever leave and here's why uh there's a lot of different things that you can do with this that will help up your painting game right off the bat see first of all it's got ribbing you see what that ribbing's for now this ribbing is to keep your bristles as clean as possible it doesn't mean run them back and forth over and over and over and over again what it means is when you're when you go to wash off your broth and hey you know what I got some water right here let's just make this happen so we're gonna fill it up with a little water and get our brush right here. So first of all, I'm not gonna actually get paint on it because that would just be stupid. Uh, then you couldn't see the effect in the bottle here. So first off, when you're rinsing off your brush, just rinse off your brush like normal. And then check it out. You can, if you got a bunch of gunk on the side of your brush, you could just kind of pull it up on the edge right here. Just give it a nice, easy, gentle kind of pull right there. And you'll, you know, keep your bristles clean. It'll keep dirt and stuff from getting up into the, the uh, well, what is this thing? The clamps, I forget what it's called, whatever. Once stuff gets up in here and you get dirt and debris up in here, you can't clean it. That's what actually starts putting pressure on these bristles and starts the fishtailing and the splitting and all that stuff of uh, your brushes out there. Now, obviously you do want to use some shampoo and GW's never come out with anything like that. A lot of folks use that master stuff, the Masters XL, we've done some comparisons here on the channel. Currently, I love uh, Slow Fuses Gaming, Gentastic's brush, uh, Drunken Brush Group. This stuff is a game changer. I've showed you already where I've saved brushes that were over 10 years old. So I think using that in conjunction with this water pot will, will definitely get you there. Now, if you got a bunch of dry paint and dry crud on the bottom of your brush, you didn't rinse it off as much as you should. Well, hey, guess what? You can also 
just not back and forth, very gently in one singular motion, pull the brush across the ribbing on the bottle. Genius. Don't abuse it, just use it very in, in moderation, right? And last, but certainly not least, the thing I like the most is if you take your detail brush right here, now there's no reason for you to put the actual bristles in your mouth to make a point. Because remember, you would rinse your brush off, then you put it in your mouth to make a point. Well, now you can do the same thing by these little grooves right here, these little notch grooves that start big, but then as you pull your brush through it, and obviously this is only gonna work for detail brushes, you twist, and as you twist, you make a fine point right there. So look at that, that is incredible. Plus, look how big this bad boy is. It's literally coffee mug size, I had no idea. $8 for a coffee mug size uh, water pot is, and I just, I just put, brush in my mouth I, I guess old habits die hard check it out check how big it is compared to this right here now I'm actually gonna pour this into something else that I'm gonna show you in a second but just for effect the old paint water pot can fit in the new Citadel paint pot for the same price in 2018 mind blown now another reason why this might be a good value is because it has all of these cool things right here. It's coffee mug size. It's probably dishwasher safe, although I don't know if you'd wanna put it in there, so you could keep it from looking like this 10 years from now. But maybe more importantly is similar things on the market, which you're not gonna be able to see because there's a bunch of paint water in here, but suffice to say that there's coils in the bottom of this. This is a glass container with coils on the bottom that function much in the same way to keep your brushes clean. Uh, costs a very similar item such as that from Hobby Lobby costs about $15 So this is literally half price to a traditional artist um, Water pot with a very similar uh, Tool inside of it to keep your brushes clean. So do I think it is uh, a must-have? Uh, very close. I'm never gonna say the something like this is a must-have but I can see the value and I can see a lot of people put, purchasing these up over uh, the paint handles, which also fit inside of it as well. So <laughs> uh, very cool, very cool stuff this holiday season from Games Workshop. I'm on board, I'm not all in, but I'm definitely on board uh, for this one here. So if you like these, oh, and one more thing. Note to GW, since I know you watch my videos. How about a GW Citadel brush holder? Look at this, you can get this acrylic thing off of Amazon to hold your brushes for three measly dollars, Games Workshop. I know you can do better, let's see it for holiday 2019. So hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be the very first to like and comment on all our videos. Spiking bits.